So I've been trying to pinpoint the source of a high speed vibration and wobble that seems to be coming from the rear end of the Miata. One of the things that I checked was the alignment of the power plant frame. If that is out of alignment, you can get some vibrations from the drive shaft. And so today I wanna to show you guys how to check that on your own ND MX-5. So what exactly is the power plant frame? Well, the power plant frame is basically the backbone of the drivetrain on a Miata. It's this metal beam right here that goes from the transmission tail shaft all the way down to the differential there. It basically locks these two into place, keeps them in alignment so that your drive shaft U-joints aren't misaligned. That would cause excess wear and vibrations. And Mazda uses this power plant frame instead of transmission mounts to support the tail shaft of the transmission as well as the front end of the differential down there. Now, truthfully, this power plant frame is not something that should fall out of alignment unless you have done some work on the car that involved removal or movement of the transmission, the power plant frame itself, or the differential down there. It's also possible that if you wrecked your Miata, the collision might have knocked this out of alignment. I haven't wrecked my car, but I just wanted to do a sanity check to make sure that the power plant frame was aligned. I found the specifications for the alignment and a workshop manual online. I'll make sure to link that in the description down below. But the process for checking the alignment is super simple. Basically, we need to measure the distance between the bottom edge of the power plant frame here and the top edge of this X-shaped cross member. So all you need to do is take a ruler or something similar and again, measure that distance from the bottom of the power plant frame to the top edge of this tunnel member. It's almost impossible to get my camera there in the right angle, but it's approximately 2.7 centimeters or about 27 millimeters. That is right in spec. The Mazda workshop manual calls for between 22.4 and 28.4 millimeters. Now, it is important to note that the power plant frame itself does dip down further here, meaning it's a little bit further away from the tunnel member at this point than it is down here. So you probably want to measure somewhere along this section right here where the middle of this X frame is. That's where I took my measurement and it is in spec from there. So that's pretty much exactly what you want to look for. If your power plant frame is not in spec, then what you want to do is loosen these four nuts, two here and then two up here. That will allow you to then adjust the angle of the transmission tail shaft here to adjust the alignment of the PPF. Use a floor jack or something similar to place it on the end of the transmission to support it and then work it into alignment from there and then torque these nuts down to spec. So thankfully my power plant frame is in alignment. It looks like nothing here has been touched since this car rolled off of the factory production line. So that's good news there. Still trying to track down what that vibration is in the rear, but this is how you check the power plant frame alignment on the ND. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please leave all your questions down in the comment section below and I can't wait to see you in the next video.